Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve this system of equations using something called Kramer's Rule. So the first step uh, to using Kramer's Rule is to find what's called big D. So big D is going to be the determinant of your coefficient matrix. So it's 2, negative 1, 1, and 2. Okay, it's always big D. And um, to compute determinants, 2 by 2 determinants, all you do is you multiply. That's 2 times 2. Then you subtract, and then it's negative 1 times 1, like that. This will be 4 plus 1, which is equal to 5. So big D is equal to 5. Again, it's always just the coefficients here of your x's and your y's. The next step is to find big D sub x. So to find big D sub x, what you do is you look at this column here, right, the 2 and the 1, the x columns, and you basically take these and you replace them. So it'll be negative 9 and 8. And then you keep the, the y's, so negative 1 and 2. Again, for big D sub x, you just look at the x's and you replace them with these numbers here in your matrix, and then you keep the y's. Then we multiply, negative 9 times 2 minus, and then negative 1 times 8. This is equal to negative 18 plus 8, which is negative 10. So that would be big D sub x. And last but not least, big D sub y. So in this case, we keep the x's, so 2 and 1, but we replace the y's, okay, with these numbers here, so you take the y's and replace them with these, so it'll be negative 9 and 8. So it's pretty easy to memorize, right? So big D is just these numbers here. Big D sub x, you replace the x's. Big D sub y, you replace the y's. So the notation is very convenient for Kramer's rule. 2 times 8 minus negative 9 times 1. This will be equal to 16 plus... 9, so that's going to be 25. Okay, the last step is to write the answers. So we have big D, we have big D sub X, we have big D sub Y. So it turns out that it works out really nicely. X is equal to big D sub X over big D. And Y is equal to big D sub Y over big D. So big D sub X in this case, we said was negative 10. And big D is 5. So x is equal to negative 2. Boom. And then big D sub y is 25. And then big D is 5. So that's equal to 5. And we could check our answers by taking these numbers and plugging them in to make sure that they work. I'll do it really quickly mentally here. So if you take negative 2 for x and 5 for y, you'll get 2 times negative 2 minus 5. Yep, that's negative 9. And then same thing here. Here you would get negative 2 plus 2 times 5, which is 8. Also check. So you could plug these back in and check to make sure you're correct. So you can write the answer like that, or even better perhaps would be to write it as an ordered pair, because that's a little bit better. If you think about what the solution means, so what does this mean graphically? Can't spell. <laughs> it's, it's if you take these two lines, and you graph them, this is where they intersect. That's the graphical representation of the solution to this math problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.